First of all, let's look at beakers. On the beaker we have graduations that are the various volumes that we can measure. One of the things that we have to be careful of is, is that each vessel that we put a fluid into has some air. For instance, this small beaker is a 50 milliliter beaker and the 50 milliliters would go right to the bottom of the spout where you pour it out. Now, 40 milliliters is the highest that is actually on the graduation and it says right below the 40 milliliters plus or minus 5%. That means that we have a possibility of having a 5% error in any one of these graduations and one of the reasons we do that is or, or have that error is because we measure using a meniscus. Typically with water or most liquids there is a adhesion of the water to the side of the vessel and it actually makes a concave surface and we measure along the bottom of that surface. If the bottom of the meniscus, the bottom of that concave surface area is right at the line then we know we have right at that volume. But there is on this particular vessel a 5% error. Now if we move up to the next size which is a 150 milliliter beaker again 150 milliliters is at the bottom of the spout where we pour and 140 is where we stop uh, with the graduations on the side. Now there is no error indicated on this particular beaker so we have to determine what is our potential for error when we fill a fluid in here. And one of the things that is a general rule is for each graduation here that is considered to be your error. So we have 140 here, 100 here and halfway between is 120. So we have the potential to have a 20 milliliter error. Now if we measure the bottom of the meniscus and it's very close to the 140 mark, obviously we don't have a 20 milliliter error, but there is still some error involved when we're uh, measuring. Now the next vessel that we want to look at is much more precise and it's uh, called a graduated cylinder. We have graduations on this particular cylinder where we have 10 graduations in between 20 and 25 here for instance, that would be 21 at the next line. 22, 23, 24, and then we hit the 25. But we can actually do 20.5 or 20 and a half milliliters on here. Now this has a TD on here at 20 degrees Celsius, which is average room temperature. What that means is this is designed to deliver, TD for uh, to deliver that particular volume. So on this, our error is not listed on this, but we would assume that our error is 0.5 or one half of a milliliter. Let's look at another vessel that is commonly used in the laboratory and this is called an Erlenmeyer flask. Erlenmeyer flasks have graduations on the side but they're not very accurate. Again, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, but nothing in between. So we can't determine where 45 or 35 or even 38 uh, would be on an Erlenmeyer flask. So this is a less desirable uh, vessel for, for getting very accurate measurements and these also come in a variety of sizes. Now, let's talk about a very specialized type of vessel. This is called a volumetric flask. And if you look, it says 100 milliliters. That is the only volume that's on here. And this is designed to contain at 20 degrees Celsius. Not to deliver, but to contain. And we have a scored graduation at the top of the neck of the uh, a flask that tells us where the 100 milliliters is. This vessel contains exactly 100 milliliters. There's very little chance of error when you're talking about using a volumetric flask. I have one here in 100, 500, and 1000 milliliter sizes.